every royal child is born with a number of names, typically four, um, and they're given the pool of names so that when they do ascend the throne, if they ascend the throne, they have a list to choose from. And typically, uh, they don't usually go with their first name. In the case of King Charles, his full name is Charles Philip Arthur George, George being the name of his great-grandfather, the Queen's grandfather. Um, he has opted to go for Charles, which is his first name, which typically and traditionally isn't usually what the monarch does. He initially was meant to go for George, which would have continued the line of the House of Windsor, and that would have made him King George the Seventh, um, but he's chosen not to do that and gone with King Charles, the controversial King Charles. The two Charleses that came before the current King Charles the Third were controversial. King Charles the First being. Uh, known for the 11 years of tyranny of no parliament and then of course the second who was exiled and uh, it's said to have had 14 children out of wedlock. So the, the name Charles doesn't have really have a good um, antecedent but n Charles, King Charles has gone with that name for whatever reason but I think the wider public were expecting him to go with George which would have been a nod of course to his great grandfather and of course his grandfather also. All right.